How to Ride the Skyliner at Disney World Resort. I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions, and I'm gonna tell you all about riding this really cool resort transportation. The Skyliner is free to ride for everyone. You don't need theme park tickets. You don't need to be guests of the hotel. You can just get on and ride. It has three lines with the central hub at the Caribbean Beach Resort. From there, you can go to Epcot that connects at the Riviera Resort. You can go direct to Hollywood Studios or you can go direct to the Art of Animation Resort and then you can walk over to Pop Century. As you're riding it, they narrate your flight so you can see what you're looking at. That's pretty neat. Each gondola car can hold 10 people in it and they do have stationary cars so that if you have a wheelchair, you can get on those that they actually stop and they don't keep moving, which is nice. I think this is worthwhile to ride. Even if you don't need to go anywhere, it's a theme park ride in and of itself. You know, maybe you want to get out of Hollywood Studios and find some cheaper food. You can do that with the Skyliner easily at one of the nearby resorts. That's, that's what I'm going to do now at uh, Pop Century. Now the real gotcha with riding the Skyliner is where do you want to park if you just want to ride it? Because if you're not a guest of the resorts, meaning you're not staying there for the night, you can't park at the resort, so you can't park at that hub station. You can't pick up the Skyliner from the front of Epcot. That's where you park there. The Skyliner comes out the back of Epcot, the International Gateway exit. So if you're going to the Epcot theme park, you can go out the International Gateway exit. You can pick up the Skyliner there. Or if you're going to Hollywood Studios, you can park in the Hollywood Studios parking lot and then pick up the Skyliner from there. It is worth realizing that you cannot connect the Skyliner to the monorail because the monorail at Epcot stops at the front and the Skyliner stops at the back. And we hope you enjoyed the most magical flight on Earth. I sure did. Thank you, Voice in the Sky. So when you come to Disney World, definitely check out this really unique transportation option. And if you are coming here, you'll want to check out some of my other videos on Disney World in Orlando. You'll find my whole playlist right up here about things to know, walking tours of Disney Springs, and hotel reviews. All right, well, fellow explorers, I won't say goodbye because I'm going to see you in one of those videos. Links in the description, also below.